subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's Asus Johan from Ashfield Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all guys are doing extremely well. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit your photograph like Tony Mahfoud in X Edition. So, if you don't know who is Tony Mahfoud, then you can just search on the Instagram. He's a very famous, you know, creative artist and a model. And his photographs are very much unique and creative style. We really inspired from him, and we have made a special photograph for you guys. And if you so, let's uh, get to the video. Before getting to the video, just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset just like this for you guys. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates. And also visit our website that is www.astrocreations.com. From there you can download backgrounds, camera presets, Lightroom presets, LUTs, PNGs, every kind of photo editing stuff just for free. So guys, go and check it out my website and also follow me on Instagram. Let's jump to the Photoshop. All you have to do is just, you know, capture some kind of photograph in such a way that you are standing on the ground. Let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool. So just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subjects or the model's body to make it selected. You can also select the, you know, photograph by using the pen tool. Pen tool literally takes a lot of time to select in a properly precise manner. So I'm just, you know, I have already cut out so you can just use the quick selection tool to cut out the image or you can also use this pen tool to cut out the image. Now just right click on and select layer by copy option or you can directly press ctrl J from the keyboard to make a duplication of the selection which you have made. Now all you need to do is let's open the background. This background can be found in the description so you can download it from there for free. So all you have to do is first uh, just uh, drag both the image, just drag and drop over here, go to the edit, select free transform from there and just you know let's in decrease the size of this and let's just you know decrease the opacity and here we will see how it actually looks perfect. Let's select this both. Let's keep the subject over this position. You know, the head of the subject should be up to the middle portion of the X. It should not be the bigger than the X. So just increase the opacity of both the photographs. Now just unhide this layer. Now here, all you need to do is that uh, just press controls here. Uh, do we get the background there? Here we need actually the shadows of the background of the you know ground. So all you need to do is just to, you know select all the or otherwise you can create a mask layer on it and just you know press Ctrl I so it will be inverted. Now again let's select the brush tool and here you can select the white color from there. So slowly you can just you know add these uh, shadows over this area this is how you can just add your shadows which is a very you know actually the original one so you can just add shadows from here So you can see the difference it is really looking very much perfect and really amazing you can also you know if you want to make it more darker you can just uh, press ctrl l from the keyboard on the background layer press ctrl l and you can just make it more darker if you want to make otherwise this is pretty much perfect just make a little bit of darkness and just hit ok now here 
all you need to do is just you know we will more uh, blur the edge of the subject so all you have to do is just select the blur tool and select the strength to around 24 or around 30 40 percent over there now all you have to do is just you know roll all over the edge of the models cut out image because this will actually you know merge it with the background there which is very much necessary and that you sh your photograph should not look that it is cut out so it is very much necessary to you know just do this process of uh, blurring the edge which we actually do in every photo editing session this will actually you know merge with the background and it will really look like it is you know originally captured from the camera so it is very much necessary to do this process of blurring this is how you have to do the every portion of the you know image in a perfect blurry way just make sure no portion is you know remain unblurred it should be blurred very perfectly also we will just do this process on the face region also on the goggles and just don't do the, this process on the hairs because we want the minute details of the hair so just keep it as it is only do it on the you know, sweater or the jacket of the model or shirt and pant and remaining you should keep it as it is like the portion like hairs and all So finally you have to do this process of blurring very perfectly you should do this process with accuracy because it will only you know it will make your actual photograph to look like an original capture from the camera so it is very much necessary that whenever you are doing the editing process you should always You should always keep in mind that your photograph should not look like it is edited. Your photograph should always look at it that it is really captured from the camera. So this is how you have to edit your photograph. That is a very key and important point in field of photo editing. This should should keep in your mind. So finally here we have almost completed our process of you know making the photograph to look uh, blurry now the next thing would be just duplicate this layer of the image now press ctrl D from the keyboard and just flip it in a horizontal way and just keep it below all the layers from here now all you have to do is just you know increase the size of the image here let's select this lasso tool and just press right click on it and select layer via cut and you can just you know
keep this like this and also on this layer press ctrl T and just adjust the position in a perfect way and just hit enter now let's select the eraser tool and select the hard round brush and also let's just select this layer and that's it now just merge both the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers now go to the filter sorry let's go to the blending mode and change the blending mode to soft light and here all we need to do is that we will just press uh, first of all we will just add some loots on the image so all you have to do is just go to the color lookup and select the Allen palantral loots which i have already given you in my previous videos so you can download it from there or from my website also so select this Allen palantral you know avc Allen a2 loots from there or a1 whichever you like you can just select it here I am taking A2 loops now all you need to do is just go to the levels and just move the levels from left to right this will actually you know create a very darkness on the image which will make you uh, will make your photograph look amazing here and you can just increase some lightness from here now the next thing would be to go to the hue and saturation layer and select the red color from there and just decrease the red color to around minus uh, 25 and just move this uh, hue to plus one now you can see the difference it is really looking very much amazing you can also increase the lightness if you want to increase or you can just decrease the lightness from here to make it look like a very much you know Tony May food style the skin tone now it is really looking very much goldy color which is very much pretty much you know like uh, Tony May food here just duplicate this uh, shadow layer again just duplicate the layer and it will actually you know create some kind of you know perfect shadow look on the image and it, it, it will actually make your photograph look very much amazing and on the background layer here just um, decrease the saturation so that it will look uh, actually pretty much perfect and also here also you just uh, select this much area from here just uh, select the layer by cut or layer via copy ctrl j from the keyboard and just press ctrl u and just decrease the saturation and just ok press ok now this one is also really looking very much perfect also let's just blur it over here and also on this portion let's just select the brush tool and just erase something from here Now this one is really looking very much you know original so this is how you can create the perfect shadow of the image and here on the X let's press ctrl L from the keyboard and just make it more darker you can see the difference it is really looking very much perfect so this is how you can create your photograph in perfect way and it will look like a very you know perfect like Tony method so now you can just you know merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers also from the hue and saturation you can just uh, in decrease some kind of saturation from here to around 90% now 
Now just merge all the layers from here, right click on it and select merge layers and just crop a bit. So finally you can see the difference, here is the before and here is the after. It is really looking perfect like Tony Mafford and the perfect shadows are also we have created in a perfect originalism. That is actually looking your photo, making your photograph to look very much amazing. So this is how you can just create your photograph like Tony Mafford. Here is the before and here is the after. Well I hope you all guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset just like this for you guys. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates. And also visit our website that is www.assetcreations.com From there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free. And also follow me on Instagram. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video.